Hello everyone, and welcome back to Adel Chauvin here, and this time we're still in a little bit of cultivation, preparing the fields for the next crop. I think I said last time we was going to do maize in this field, and yeah, so we're just cultivating. Not all the field needs cultivating, we've just did little bits, like technically 21 has already been cultivated. And we're just doing strips where it hasn't been cultivated, so like everywhere here on 23, that needs cultivation. So we'll go ahead and get all this done. I'm actually thinking we could potentially get a worker on this. Let's go, yeah, let's go do a headland. I think I'll do a bit at the bottom as well because it's quite tight at the bottom, and yeah, that's the thing I want is the workers get confused, but yeah, so. Plan for the rest of today in November is get the cultivation done. So we're gonna get it out of the way and what other fields needs cultivating. Our little mini field over there needs cultivating so we'll get that done as well today. But also we've been starting making our sludge bells, so I shall I leave it on times one for now. But yeah, we'll need a trailer of sort to get this all loaded up at some point tomorrow. I think we are on 76 grand now, so I think that's thing I want to do is just spend the money on just like willy nilly and then ending up regretting it. We could look at getting a grain mill in. There is a modded version of the grain mill that I could also use to make sunflower oil. So yeah I think that's what we'll go ahead and do. But yeah, so we'll just continue on this, do a little quick time lapse, and then we'll get the work on this, I think. done, didn't take too long, just getting the worker doing some little bits. Did a bit more than I was initially planning, but I just thought it sort of makes sense, just had to make the worker's life a bit easier. So then we can focus on this, not sure how much bells we're going to get, this is actually just meadow grass, so it's not going to be very high yielding, plus as well, see when we're making turns, we are missing bits, so to turn off the wind rower. Yeah, so a little bit like this, we'll go over a manual, I think, afterwards, but... But yeah, at the end of the day, it's pretty much just going to be... <laughs> yeah, this is just pure profit that we're going to get, so... i say after this, what we need to do is obviously get the little field cultivated, and yeah, really seriously about putting some more stuff down, again, just making more of a passive source of income. Similar to how I'm doing at the moment on New Man's Land with most of my roleplay series. Episode 26 should have just dropped. Yeah, should have just dropped this morning. Or no, just this afternoon after dinner time. So hopefully that some good reactions as well because yeah, sort of episodes on there. Eventually getting back into making more episodes, so... I think with No Man's Land, that's, that's a potential series. For, this should just go on for ages and ages and ages. Because we're only still at the early days on that series, and it's similar with this. I can see this going on for many, many episodes, easily 30, 50 plus episodes, with not much of a problem. Okay, that's just wrapping it. Actually, I'll just let that empty so it's like on a flat surface. That's the thing I want it to have it rolling down into the river. Make sure, there we go, automatic drop is on. 
yeah, that's what I want this to, to roll down into the river and get a bit moist. I see they mowing and turning. Yeah, it makes sense. Trying to win row and bail at the same time with different pieces of equipment. Eh, not so much, but should be alright. But yeah, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to continue on doing this off camera. And then I'll bring folks in a little bit when we're all done and start loading this up onto the trailer. Here we go, one more bell. But yeah, I just like how the crop has turned out so far. It's interesting to see as well with position farming, like different bits of the field is growing. Seems to be what? Is that either. Yeah, it's got to be. Can be dead, uh, was it dead weeds? Perhaps it's just a bit of dead wheat that hasn't germinated. Perhaps could be. But I say if it is, and I do like that feature in twenty-two. Yeah, it looks like could be wheat, but but yeah. So get okay, it's all done off camera, and then I'll bring things back in second here. Alrighty then, we have been a little bit busy. We just finished feeding the chickens and give rest of the team art to the cows. So they're all good with food at the moment. Cows, yep, good. Chickens, max, and still got plenty of chicken food left. But yeah, also, we have been quite busy with the bell situation. We've literally pretty much mowed like around the fields and that. We've mowed on some of the pathways we've been given access to. So yeah, we can have a little look at how many bells we have produced so far. In this episode, we have produced um, 21 bells. Obviously it's saying zero because I had to reload in after having to go to work and that. But I think until we produce about 25 bells, it's saying we've got 55 bells in total in this series, but I think we bought like 30 or so bells of straw. Was it 20 or 30 we bought? Not too sure. I can't exactly recall that, how much we've got. We'll go into this field here a little bit. Don't think it's anything planted, right? Nope, nothing's growing. But yeah, so we've got a few bells loaded up ready. Of course this ain't going to be ready till tomorrow. And yes, technically we didn't have to go down this route. We could have bought the bunk... Well, we did buy the bunker silo, but... In hindsight, we could have got away off not doing that. Because we could have just pick the grass up and put it into the... What's it? The grass dry fermenter. However, as I've learned on No Man's Land... Oops. Um, if you just pick it up, let's say with a forage wagon, it would still classify it as grass, so we need to make chaff. And a good way of doing that is shoving the grass into a bunker side clamp, and then picking it up again, and then it'll be classified as chaff. So, we could potentially go down that route, but would mean we're going to have to buy a forage wagon and get a decent one around 250 300 horsepower requirement is something like, I don't know, an like easy way of 100 grand, so... We don't... Yeah, we just don't have the money for that at the moment. Heck, if something comes up in the second-hand market, then of course we'll go ahead and buy it, because... I think in the long run, using the grass dry fermenter... is more viable for us. Obviously, we've been given access to it. We do pay the daily maintenance fees and all that, so... It's not like we're getting it for free, so... But yeah, as you just seen there, um, the fair enough from fermentations between like two six percent. Oh, good, that goes on perfectly. And we'll just go around. There is a few more grass bells over here. Oh, ah, darn it! We've hit a tree. Let's go around a tree. How is that catching? It was catching on the back one. I was going to say, how is it catching? So I'm going to go right close to this tree. Why is it still clipping? You know what? Tree, I love you. 
but you gotta go. Sorry, but yeah. Oh, that's that's gonna fall into the field. Has it gone into the field? Yeah, sort of. Do a bit. Of Move some of these bits out of the way. Last thing, I do want to get into a proper forestry, but obviously, these trees aren't compatible with a tree harvester at the moment because we have to plant our own trees and that. That's just more off, just down to the map and that, and the map maker, but. Because I know, like, Jim with his maps, like, No Man's Land and Western Wild, he can use a tree harvester, no problem. But this, uh, 221. But yeah, the whole idea of having a second sawmill does sound good. However, we don't have much space of putting a second sawmill down. So we are a bit limited on that, so Yeah sure this is safe. Oh there we go. I keep on cutting this way too long. <laughs> That's the thing, like American now is just a super dense tree and you do get a lot of timber for your tree now, but it's just a pain to devour, to deal with. 227. Cut you down. There we go. Nope, didn't want to do that. Wrong button. So I'll just cut some of these, just get them out of the way so they're not in the field, so. But things like furrows and wise were all good, so. I think just this one bit here. And then we're all good. So yeah, that's pretty much most of it out of the field. We'll go and clear it up at some point. But yeah, it's just with actual bells in that. So we've got a couple of here. I think we've got some down here, right? On this edge of the field. Nope. I swear there was like a bunch of bells around here somewhere. Ah, there we go. By the manure pit, so we've got another three, four, five bells. Any more? There's one here, six. Any more after that? Oh, yep, yeah, so here, seven, eight. And then nine and ten bells, so. We can fit another three, six, seven, and maybe squeeze another set at the back, so we're going to be quite close here. Actually, I want to see what's in the second hand market at the moment. Oh, I've got a yes, We could go with the planter and that, or the cedar, that'd be a very good option for us. Fridge horsepower, not an issue for us. Ooh, look at that. I'll just be saying, we need a forage wagon and 62% off. Yes, it's 40 months old, so it's going to be quite worn, but you know what? I think we'll just go for it. I really do. I know we say we're going to get this grain meal and that, but that's still like 23 grand, so we could still buy the grain meal now. But yeah, so. But as well, in terms of like, aspects of farming in that, what do we need to do field prep wise? We have a look here, so that's been cultivated. I swear we cultivated field 25, did we? So 25 needs cultivation, 
that little field over there needs cultivation. So yeah, I think what we'll do now is do one more quick little time lapse. We'll go and get the rest of these bells picked up, get the fields cultivated, and then I'll see you perhaps in December, if not January, depending on how things progress and that, and see... Well, I'll bring you back in January at the latest. We'll bring you in December if there's like snow or anything like that. Or if there's something interesting in the second hand market. So yeah, if anything interesting happens, I'll see you in December. If not, I'll see you folks in January. <laughs> take a month for the grass to ferment but no it took two months so that is a good thing to know good bit of information to find out and we've got 148,000 liters of silage they weigh 890 kilograms each so we are currently pulling something like 24 tons of silage hence why we've got the 3.3 ton weight at the front oh no tippy toppy there but yeah, in terms of what we've done in the time lapse, we sold the seed and fertilizer storage. I don't think we need it, it came with the farm, but realistically I don't think we need it. Also we sold the seed, got quite a bit of hefty chunk of change for that. Something like, like 48, 50 grand we got from that. And yeah, the sort of main reason for that is we can buy seed as and when we need it, and yeah, we need the cash so... Yeah, unfortunately we didn't go and buy the planter or the cedar, I wish we did. So that is a oh, bit of cash there. And a little bit more. So something like 67, 60, like 70 odd grand or so we got there. So that ain't too bad, yeah, 70 grand I think. So yeah, that's not too bad of a hole. What we're going to do is sell some planks, sell some furniture. Because if we have a look, cows need. Oh, they desperately need team bar, so we'll do that today at the start of next episode, then we'll advance to February. Chickens are good with food, got plenty of eggs at the moment. Still no cultivation contracts, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. 
doing good on production of tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries. Got quite a bit of those. Planks, we are... No, sorry, furniture we're doing okay with. Actually, if we advanced on over to the carpentry business. Oh, look at that. We've got three furniture pallets. So we'll go and move you to the side. We're going to have a fourth one spawned up very soon. We got the planks transported over from the sawmill. So sawmill currently has got 8,000 litres of planks. And if we head up there, because nothing's happened since the last time I've looked here, because now the planks are like these. So rather than individual 1,000 year pallet of planks, we've got long pallets. So these weigh 2.5 tons. So not too bad at all. So you perhaps get the John Deere over here with the weight and that 3.3 ton weight. And we should be all good with that. But yeah, so I'm going to get three more. So 10,000 litres of planks. How much is that at the moment? So if we go down two planks. So we're going to get roughly about 25 grand just for the planks. For furniture, we're going to get about 15 grand. So not too bad. And of course we've got all the bits of honey and all that to deal with as well. So we can get quite a bit of money and seriously we're sort of actually making some serious cash now and we need to think about where we go from here. Do you buy more land? Do you buy more equipment? Equipment wise, I'm gonna see if anything you use market. There's a combine, but uh, Do we buy it? That's the thing, do we buy it? Ten thousand capacity Nah, I don't think we will, because not that one in particular. I just think we don't need to own one. If we were going to own one, I want like something like these. Slightly cheaper and even potential of even great capacities. Yeah, just look at that. Something like the John Deere 2780. How much is that going to cost with the green section? 23,000 litres for. 289. Oh, wait a minute, the price all of a sudden jumped up there. <laughs> How much is it for the slightly smaller 600 series? 260, 269. So, yeah, a few options we could go from there. I'm going to have a little think about that. Hopefully, these episodes should be uploaded today as I'm recording this aspect on Sunday night. If it ain't, it'll be uploaded Monday morning and then we'll go from there with other uploads of adult show than that. But yeah, so I hope everyone's enjoyed the episode. If so, push that like button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be on my guest for our channel yet, and please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has a say. But for now, this is me Farmer Info Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.